Hello, my virtual friends. My name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome to the case of the mysterious Maulings. This is a game where we've been uh, invited, excuse me, to a fancy dinner party. Huzzah and hooray! But the bad news is we are a bloodthirsty monster that likes to eat people. Sad face, but. What we have to do in this dinner party is eat everyone we can whilst framing the other guests. Which is very desolate, it's like an opposite of a Agatha Christie novel, it's gonna be so good. Anyway, let's read our invitation. Fancy party, you are invited to attend an intimate reception. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's the right word, okay. On Friday, October 13th. Food and refreshments will be served at 7 o'clock. Alright then. The card admit- this, this card admits Mr. B. Holder. Oh, like I am the beholder. Very good game, very good game. The case of the mysterious Maulings has on her Okay. Here's us. <laughs> Sorry me, I'm late. Not a problem. Uh -huh. Announcing Mr. B. Holder. Me, I'm pleased to be here. Ah, my roster guest is finally complete. My roster. Now the evening's activities can begin in earnest. I brought you all together tonight. An interpret archaeologist, a dedicated young novelist, a mystically gifted spiritualist, my new next door neighbor who I've yet to meet properly, and my loyal butler, of course. Surely you're wondering why? What mysterious purpose I could have invited you all here? Oh god, I'm getting Family Guy flashbacks. You remember that one with, uh, uh, what's his name? Well, my friend, here it is. For no other reason than a time to reveal you my deepest, darkest secret. Oh god, okay. What do you see, ladies and gentlemen, my secret? Is... Uh, oh shit! <gasps> Nay, the horror! <gasps> Jesus Christ, my lord! Calm down! I'm nobody to panic! How <laughs> the killer I'm have to somebody in this room? Uh, it's gonna be quite hard to frame somebody when the blood is literally on our lips. That means nobody to leave here. Until me find out what one of you, uh, we am the killer. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so good. This is so good. Okay. Right then. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> right, uh... What's this? Alright, no. How are you hold- how are you holding up? They're buying it! I've got to find out who each guest dislikes and slander that person to shift suspicion off yourself. When you run out of patience for conversation, murder whoever seems like a threat. Okay. Gossip, patience, slander. Gossip. About the butler. Do you like the butler? Well, he serves fine dinner, but I don't have much else to say one way or the other. Alright, so the butler's not exactly great. Okay, that's fine. We'll go, we'll go over to this one then. Dreadful business, all this. Yeah, so we should be murdered. <laughs> As things go. You also about the butler. Just check him out properly. He's an awful hoverer, even for a butler. A writer needs room to think, you know. Hmm, interesting. Alright then, let's check out the old lady, see what she thinks of the butler. Mm, yes, I sense that you wish to speak to me. Oh my god, how could she ever have sold? It's not like I just walked up to her and said, Hey, can I talk to you or anything? Oh, spiritualist. <laughs> Alright, gossip the butler. How do, you, how do you feel about him? The spirits have no particularly strong feelings about the butler. Alright, he's not the one to slander things. Only this guy thinks, only the writer thinks he's a nuisance. Alright then, so, what do you think of the writer then? Do you like the novelist? The spirit guide overheard the man make a very rude comment about my turban. He doesn't realize I could curse him with a festering boils whenever I please. Of course. All right, then. Uh, dre yeah, it's dreadful business. Gossip about her, actually. What do you think of her? See, she told me that our spirit guide gave her a vision of my future. She showed me selling millions of copies of my next book to a nation of adoring fans. Imagine that, me selling a book. Does not, well, not the goal of most writers to have their work published, let alone sold. But I'm not murdering him, Jesus. Uh, all right. Well, uh, well, me, I need to go to use bathroom. Uh, gonna go now. <laughs> okay. I think they might know it's me at this point because I just saw a rat. I didn't think maybe I shouldn't have murdered him actually. Good God, huh? 
No, I was gonna say, I thought, did he say hot young man? But no. Wow, another murder. <laughs> All right. Now then, uh, let's see. So, there doesn't seem to be any strong feelings either way for either of these guys, so we're gonna have to be careful who we murder next. Gossip about her. How do you feel about the spiritualist? I'm not sure, she's harder to read than a wall of hieroglyphics. Hmm. All right then, uh, uh, you've, I've heard your piece on the butler, so. Butler! My poor, poor master, I simply can't believe this. Does a second person mean murder? <laughs> Never mind, okay, what do you think of the archeologist? I could listen to Madame's stories of daring do all day long, and sometimes when she visited the master, I did just that. <laughs> oh, master. Oh, right, okay, I was gonna say, why are you laughing? Oh yeah, he's like, <laughs> oh, that happened. Right, what do you think of the archaeologists? Then we'll have our, t then they'll have all their two sets. Oh, I can't talk about entering a trance, I stay can't be helped, sorry. <sighs> oh, you've upset someone with your spurious accusations. I haven't said anything, I have accused nobody. You'll have to take your sleuthing elsewhere. Fine, murder. Uh, me, I've heard something from the other side of the room. Excuse me. Don't mind me. They're gonna get it eventually. Like, I'm the only one who's here at this point. Alright. Spiritualist is dead. They're gonna turn on me at this point. Forgive me, sir, but I'm afraid I must accuse you of cold blooded murder. <laughs> Seize the killer. Tie him up. Oh, no. I knew that would probably get us down, but okay, let's try again. Okay. So, right. I'm, so, I'm, I'm gonna imagine that uh, it's gonna change, so skip all this. Alright, he's dead, so. Hmm. Let's try, let's actually try and frame somebody properly. Instead of just gossiping about them, let's actually get some people framed, so. Yes, okay. Gossip about the writer. I didn't actually ask you, because I murdered him before I could. Can't say I've got much patience for spineless men. Could could stand to show some nerve. Oh, let's slander him. The novelist I'm guiltiest person I ever saw. Of course, it's always the quiet ones. The awkwardly, persistently quiet ones. A lot of you know the quiet ones are some of the best people. I used to be a very quiet person. All right then. Bitch, all right then, let's move on. Mm, yes, I said you want to speak with me. What do you think of the writer? I don't want to slander him immediately. Ah, yes, yes, gossip him. You like the novelist? He's got beautiful palms. It's like reading a book of poems. All right, we shouldn't slander him in front of her, so let's go to this guy and gossip about the writer. Care much? I don't find him very memorable. All right, slander him then. The novelist says, I'm not killer, me, I'm Jane Austen. Good lord, perhaps he wanted to do some hands-on research for his next murder story. <gasps> you wouldn't believe. All right then, so the seeds have been sown for this. Let's see. Maybe we should like, let's try slander her. Let's see if that actually works. Uh, no, I'm not gonna murder him, gee. All right, I can't murder that guy because, yeah, okay, it's all murder here, so, right then. Who needs to be murdered, like, oh, I know, we have to, we have to murder this one because the uh, other two are suspicious of him, so therefore the one who's not suspicious should be dead. Yes, okay, that's how, she, how it works, okay. Oh, excited, this is good, I like this. Okay, let's see if this actually does anything. Yes, yes, murder, murder, death, death, all that. Masker, masker, masker. <gasps> My word, the old girl's gone on the other side now. Ha ha ha. All right then. Me did not see that coming. Ha 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 ha, with my one giant. Oh, not one giant, I have like seven eyes actually by the looks of it. Right then, let's get some more gossiping. How are you holding up? Oh, I'm fine, just uh, finishing off that meal. I mean, uh, of course, slander him. Novel's guiltiest. I was, yes, of course, right. Now what? Okay, slander him. If the novel's yes. Uh huh. Now what? Uh, I suppose like we need to murder what either the archaeologist or the butler. Well, the butler seems less sure, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to murder. Wait, hang on. What do you? Pa oh, okay, patience. Uh, gossip about that one. What do you think of her actually? She's terribly, she's terribly interesting. Do you know she's opened up more pharaoh's tombs than anyone else in the world? I'd like to interview her for my love. No, but I doubt she even knows I exist. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh, well, okay. Right then. That wants to. So, I think if the butler dies, then she'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> He's the one who's there. Alright, go. Unless I, unless I immediately get them uh, to suspect me again, like last time. But I sowed more seeds this time than last time. 
Let's see if that worked. Yes. <gasps> the butler! Oh no. Oh no. Ah, 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 yeah, ah, got it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You think he's, just, he's the murderer now? Come on. <laughs> yes. Are you gonna do anything about this or do I have to murder her to then get him done? Oh. Is that the case? All right, okay. Uh, excuse me, I need to uh, review my notes. Oh, you get stuck from your spur. You have to take your sleuthing elsewhere, okay. That's fine. Okay then, so... Oh god, what do I do now? Do I just, can I leave? <laughs> oh no, I suppose more murder in time, so... Well, I... Hmm. Well then, I, I don't know, because if I murder him, then... There'll be no more accusations, because she, she thinks that he's the murderer, so if the murderer gets murdered... I'm the only one left, so she knows she's not the murderer, so that's bad. But if I murder her, then he's like, I know I'm not the murderer, so he must be the murderer. Hmm. I have to murder somebody, so this one it is. Right, okay. So then he's the only one left, so therefore, hopefully, that means that uh, logic dictates that he's, uh, I don't know, I'm not Agatha Christie here, I don't know. You're the villain. Please don't write me out of your narrative yet, yeah, please! And then he... Oh uh, yeah, we did it! Hell yeah! Okay! That is a gruesome half and a half image. Jesus Christ, okay. Ugh. Well, I'm content at least with all the lovely organs in my... Uh, more organs inside me. There we go, and we did it! We nailed it. Alright, let's go ahead. Title screen, there we go. Excellent, so... Yeah, that was the case of the mysterious maulings. That was really cool. Very, sort of... It's quite a theatrical version of like an Attica Christie novel, which I adore quite a lot. This is so cool. And props to all you lovely people up at the top here for this game. This is very, very cool. So, I'm going to end it there. Thank you all so kindly for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you later.